Everywhere you scroll on social media these days, Studio Ghibli-style art is taking over. And there's a big reason why. OpenAI just unleashed their incredible 4.0 image model. It's got high precision and prompt adherence so mind-blowing, we can't stop raving about it. Today, we're diving into that power to whip up something amazing, a consistent AI character. I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how to generate your own photorealistic AI character using OpenAI New Model. Then create a grid of images featuring that same character in different poses, angles, and facial expressions. After that, I'll let you in on a secret comfy UI workflow that'll expand your character data set, setting you up to train a FluxDev Laura for rock-solid consistency in your generated images. Stick around until the end, because I'm walking you through the whole process from start to finish. Oh, and before we dive in, if you're into this kind of content, hit subscribe, tap the bell, and drop a like to give the algorithm some love. Let's get started. First up, let's pop open ChatGPT. I'm guessing not everyone's got a Plus subscription, and that's totally fine. I think the 4.0 image model is free, though you might be limited to something like three images a day. But if you've got that Plus subscription, you can crank out as many images as you want, no cap. We're kicking things off from scratch here, generating a photorealistic AI character to use as our base reference image. If you've already got an AI character image you're vibing with, feel free to skip this part. Here's the prompt I'm using. Create an image, a low-quality phone photo of a 21-year-old woman from Albania with distinctive supermodel face features wearing a white top. This gives us an image with that realistic phone camera noise. Trust me, it's a game changer for authenticity. You can tweak this prompt to your liking, swap the nationality, adjust the age, or pile on more details to craft your dream AI character reference image. Take your time playing with it, and once you're stoked with the result, we'll move on to the second prompt. For that, I'm saving the reference image, then feeding it back into the GPT-4.0 model with this. Create an image grid of four low-quality phone photos, focusing on the face of the same person in different angles and facial expressions. Smiling, open mouth, closed mouth, set against a white studio background. This pumps out four images, and you'll see the subject looks spot on, like our reference. Now, our AI character's rocking different expressions and face angles, which is clutch for training a killer Laura later. Let's save that grid and switch over to Comfy UI. This workflow I'm about to drop is pure fire. It automatically splits that four image grid and churns out even more images with fresh facial expressions. We're leaning on live portrait notes here, so double check you've got live portrait installed. You can grab this workflow for free. Links in the Kofi description below. In the workflow, we've got image input nodes. Slap the first reference image in the top slot, then add the four faces grid below it. Hit run and boom, watch it work its magic. We're jumping from five images to 11. Here's the breakdown. The top left image gets cropped and piped into three live portrait nodes, each with different settings to cook up new expressions. I left the top right image as it is because our character is already laughing, so it's golden. The bottom left image also flows into three live portrait nodes. Mess with the parameters here to dial in expressions you love and keep things varied. Once that's wrapped, I bundle all the images using the image batch multi-node. You can save them right away with the save image node or go pro with the batch save image sequence to stash them in a specific folder. Just tweak the folder path and stick with this image sequence PNG. Peek into your output folder and there they are. 11 images of the same AI character primed for Flux Dev training. Let's tie up this dataset prep phase. First, you generate one image in GPT, then the four faces grid. Pop both into the Comfy UI workflow, pick your output folder and let it rip. Play with those live portrait settings to snag the best, most diverse facial expressions. Easy peasy. Now that our data set's locked in, it's time to train that Laura. I've walked you through this a bunch in previous videos. Hit up the channel if you need a refresher. Normally, I'd use AI Toolkit to train Loras, but this time we're leveling up with a slicker tool, Flux Gym. Links below in the GitHub repo, and it's got a dead simple install guide for Windows or Linux, works with any GPU, even a 12 gigabytes card. Here's the Flux Gym interface where we're cooking our Laura. Start by giving it a dope name, then set a trigger word. Toss in a number or symbol, nothing basic. 
you'll see Flux Gym supports all consumer GPUs. Got 24 gigabytes? Pick 20. 16 gigabytes? Go with 16. 12 gigs of VRAM? You're still good with 12. For repeats per image, 5's solid. If you're curious about Flux Gym, AI Trepreneur's video dives deep into the settings. Worth a watch. Max Train Epochs? Let's roll with 10. Scroll down, resize dataset images to 1024 by 1024 for max quality, and load up your dataset images. Caption them manually if you're feeling it, or let Florence Auto Caption do the work for you. The first time, it'll download the Florence model, so chill for a few minutes. Once captions are ready, tweak them to match the vibe. Think woman smiling or woman looking surprised, so FluxDev can tap those expressions later. Images and captions are good to go, so let's fine-tune some advanced settings. Lower the learning rate, the default's too spicy. 5E4 is perfect. Save every epoch instead of every four, giving us 10 LaRas to test. Bump the network dimension to 16 from 4 for a beefier file. For better results, try these. SNL Gamma to 5, multi-raise noise discount to 0.3, multi-raise noise iterations to 6, noise offset to 0.1. Enable buckets for multi-aspect ratio training too. Rocking a 24 gigabytes of VRAM card? Set train batch size to two for a speed boost. 16 gigabytes or less. Leave it blank. All right, we're set. Time to train. Click Start Training. First run with Flux Gym, it'll grab the Flux Dev models. Give it a hot minute depending on your internet. Once it's rolling, SafeTensor's files will stack up in the output folder inside the Flux Gym directory after every epoch. When it's done, scoop those SafeTensor's files and drop them into ComfyUI's models Laura folder. And there you have it. You've trained your own AI character Laura. Test it out with your go-to Flux Dev workflow. I'm using a custom one I whipped up for my course students, blending SDXL and FluxDev. Don't sleep on that trigger word in your prompt. Check these results. SDXL without the LoRa versus FluxDev with it. Total game changer, right? Our character's consistent across every image now. Here's another example. Different angle, same look, all tied back to that 4.0 reference. That's how we harness OpenAI's new image model to lock in AI character consistency, or even craft personal style Loras. That's it for today, hope you had a blast. If you're new and this felt like a lot, no worries. Jump into my beginner-friendly AI influencer course linked below. Already a course member? Big thanks for backing the channel. And to everyone tossing us a Kofi, you're legends. See you in the next one.